Welcome back to our next episode of this plan set eight project where in this episode we're going to go in there and put in all the doors into our already made group for our wall. If we come over here and look at the outliner panel, you'll see that we have our plot, we have our garage foundation, we have our pool room foundation, which is up here, and we have the house foundation. We also have the walls and that's all right and that's turned into a group as well one thing that you'll notice that I did was this these are all kind of grayed out and what that means is that I have locked these groups so if you right click right here you'll see it when it's unlocked you'll be able to lock it and whenever it's locked you'll be able to unlock it and what that basically does is it prevents us from deleting by mistake or something our foundation which is what I did in the previous video um, so I locked all of those um, and you can actually lock it by click right clicking on the outliner panel itself and going down to locking or unlocking um, so with that let's go ahead and we need to remember that this is a group we've already turned this into a group so if we want to change or edit this group we need to right click on it go down to edit group or if it's a component it'll say edit component so edit group now we can do whatever we want to this group you'll notice that everything else around it is kind of a green color that's a setting letting us know that all of that we can't really touch um, well, we can't touch it all because that's outside of the group. One of the issues with SketchUp right here is that it does kind of that, that shimmering. And that's simply because this as um, our current group is flat. There's no depth to it at all. And it's sitting on top of another group. And so anytime that happens, this is the result. Um, it, it'll go away once we start bringing up the walls and everything. So let's go ahead and start working on these doors. So if you don't have the textbook, this is the door and window schedule. So they're all numbered and lettered. And then you see door A is two and a half feet wide by six foot nine. All of the doors are six foot nine. And then windows are number one is two foot nine inches wide three feet tall so we'll be using that that's also in I think drawing six um, of our book so let's go ahead and start working on the doors to begin with so the front door is E and so to get the center of that door we're going to go from the very bottom we're going to go up go up and it's going to be 11 foot 6 I'm going to click and delete these inner parts of these we don't need them there and so Again, this door is three feet wide, so we're going to go from that center point over one foot six. And same thing over here, one foot six. Take your rectangle tool and simply connect the dots. And we're going to leave it just like that. Our next door we can do is right here at this closet. This is a one of those bifold doors that um, bend out, and that is letter C. So each one of these doors is one foot five inches. So we're going to find the center point. Find the center point, and we're going to go to the right, one foot five. and one foot five 
draw that in there erase that and erase those over here in the bottom right we're going to take our tape measure and let's go in here and do the first measurement is two foot nine that's the center of one window go up four feet that's the center of the next window and if we go up three foot six this is the center of our door the door is letter a so it's two foot six so to make things kind of easier or if you're having problems splitting it up just do half of two is one and then half of six is three So if you're sitting there trying to do the math on the fly, that's a quick and easy way to, to go about doing it, especially when you get into more complicated measurements and you're not used to splitting them up. Draw that in there. While we're over here, we can take a look at the windows. Both of these windows are number one, which is two foot nine. So we'll come in here and so this will be one foot 4.5. one foot 4.5 and we can do an overall measurement to make sure that it is two foot nine this is going to be the exact same thing you can use fractions i i tend to use decimals whenever stuff like this are here where it's an easy decimal conversion either way works so we get that we drew this one in there that is that window and that is that window and let's delete these guides and we actually need this one back again so if we go from the right we can hover over this right here and that will show us the midpoint of this door so if we go make that guide if thing will act stop acting up our next measurement is five foot nine and this is so this is our kitchen so this is our little window over top of our sink um, so it's a very small window this is number four which is only one foot ten so we will do six inches eleven inches to each side and we can double check by just measuring it overall so one foot ten your keyboard shortcut for the rectangle tool again is the R tool or R key on your keyboard we're gonna leave that guide up and go ahead and work on the windows over here for the bedrooms so from that center point we're gonna go over two foot six It's not correct. So we're going to go over four foot three and then two foot six. That gets us the middle of those walls. Then we're going to go over two foot nine. We'll go over, making sure that again our line is green. Um, if you notice that it was gray right there that means that that's not flat that's going actually going probably down um, so make sure that your lines are always kind of green or red um, our next measurement is four foot and then we have it goes all the way to the end which is eight foot six so both of these are windows both of these are number one windows so if you're looking at the schedule that would be their two foot nine. So one foot four point five. If you if you mess up, 
you can always hit the backspace key and that will delete everything from the bottom uh, from the the um, length down here at the very bottom right so if you do mess up you you just can backspace and it'll delete it um, and then you can retype in what you're trying to do again inches is the default measurement so we do not need to go in there and put in that inch double apostrophe for the inches draw in our do our windows rather let's go ahead and delete these guides so that they are out of the way let's create our windows over here we're going to go from this far edge two foot six that is one window let's go over three foot nine that is our next window from this point let's go ahead and make these others so this next part is five foot three that gets there again this one was two foot six and then the door or the window for our bathroom here is three foot nine from that wall. Again, both of these are number one windows. So they are that we go that one foot four and a half to each side. Hit the R key for your rectangle tool and draw in our rectangle. This window is number three, so it is one foot ten wide. So eleven inches to each side. You can measure it to check and draw in our window with our rectangle tool let's go ahead and delete our guides and we just have our interior doors that we need to put in so these closet doors is our D which is two foot two so if we go create the center point of that Let's go over two foot two, two foot two. If you mess up your, your thing, you can do undo right here, or you can hit control Z and that will undo it. Bring up the guides, go from the center point two foot two and two foot two take your rectangle tool and let's draw those in there this door is B so let's find the center point of this door. The B measurement is two foot six. So we're gonna go one foot three. Draw in our rectangle. You can hit the E key for the eraser. Erase that. Bring up your tape measure, which is T. We're going to find, so this door is B again, so it's two foot six. We're going to go over to the right three inches. Um, well, actually, let's go six inches total. So six inches total, and then we're going to go over two foot six. 
take our rectangle tool and draw in that measurement. So again, we went six inches over and then our door. We have another D closet door here, so we can find that midpoint, two foot two, two foot two. Rectangle tool, do that. Same thing down here, so tape measure, letter T, bring the center of that. We have two foot two again, and two foot two. Rectangle tool, bring that in, an eraser, and let's erase those. This right here is the C, so we're going to take measure. We're going to go find the center point of that wall right there. C is one foot five, so we're going to go one foot five, one foot five. And we should have one more window to do, or one more door rather, which is the bathroom door. So the bathroom door we're just going to do opposite and center of this wall. So find the center point of that wall. And the bathroom is, again, that B, which is two foot six. So we're gonna go one foot three. And one foot three. And draw in our rectangle. This will give us enough space for our countertop, which is gonna be two feet um, on this other side, and then the bathtub, which will be on this side. Once you've drawn the rectangle in, let's go ahead and erase those guides. And we can kind of take a look to make sure we didn't miss anything. We did miss two windows here. So let's really quickly um, go over three feet and from this one, it's another three feet. Both of these windows are the one windows, which is two foot nine. So one foot 4.5, one foot 4.5, one foot 4.5. Hit the R key and draw in our rectangles. So that will finish up this episode. In our next episode, um, we will go in here and bring the walls up. We will start putting in the, the rough openings for all of these doors and windows and get ready for to put on the roof. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes in this playlist. Make sure that you save your work as well as taking the appropriate screenshots with the dimensions and all of that. Thank you.